with your weekend reading for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the 18th, 19th and 20th of December. This is the uh, last weekend before going into Christmas. So let's see what we've got for you. Now please do understand this is a general reading so some of it won't apply to you um, but sometimes all of it applies to you. It all depends on uh, what messages come through. So I will be choosing one card for the overall time of the weekend, one for any challenges that come up or any incidents that come up or anything that you need to keep your eye focused on. The next card will be help that's available to you or what's hindering you. The last card will be your outcome. So let's get started. Now if you want a private reading with me, please do go to my website at www.hypnoualley.com. Alright, let's get started. So, well, what a beautiful way to start the weekend. We have the Four of Wands. Now the Four is about um, close family relationships. It's about bonding with your children. It's about bonding with partners. Uh, this is uh, in love. This is meeting Mr. or Mrs. Right, being at the right time at the right place. This is building on uh, new fresh relationships and um, those new passions. You've got luxury of a canopy over thing. Uh, you are sitting in front of your castle and you are celebrating. And this is about promise, this is about future, this is about clarity, this is about direction, this is about wands are your um, passions, taking action, things close to your heart. Now this is uh, air sign, uh, sorry, fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. So you could be one of those fire signs or you are meeting a fire sign. This is about new fresh um, love. Uh, or if you're in a committed relationship, this is renewed passions. Perhaps you might renew your vows. Perhaps you might renew that love on a honeymoon vacation. Now, uh, in a financial sense, this is about prospects blooming. You've got all of these uh, harvests on the plants that they're, they're seeding, they're fruiting. Um, you know, fruits of your labor are coming to fruition. This is about joining partner, making partner, being in a firm, committed relationship. Uh, whether it be work or at home. Uh, at home, this is about new homes, buying a home, selling a home, uh, relocating, moving, um, painting, renovating, all of those wonderful things back. Creativity and uh, renewal around the home as well. So that's what we're starting out for the whole weekend. You know, feeling love, being passionate, taking action to get those things to happen. So what's the next card? What will come up? What is in our way? What is um, the challenge that we must remember? We have the chariot card, but in reverse. So to get that, Sometimes you have to understand that some people can be unstable. Sometimes uh, you can be in denial. There can be setbacks. So if there are setbacks, uh, small or large, it doesn't matter. You've got to keep the promise and the hope for the future in your mind, okay? So this weekend, that is the promise this weekend, to have that. Your challenge is to keep out any unstable thoughts, any erratic behavior, any denial, any delusions, other people's negativity, other people's um, opinions can be kept to themselves, not being invited or engaging into arguments that you're invited into. What is the help that's available to you? You have a firm partnership here. You've got people that love you, that support you, that want to follow through right to the end. Now, this is a very firm message that you have a partner to rely on. So those of you that are married or in a new relationship, that partner is there for you. So this is a love relationship. You can rely on your partner. Now, there is a Leo around this. Uh, so Leo, um, Aries, or Sagittarius. Uh, so either you or them. And you do have them as a firm support. They are committed to you. They are there for you. They will help you. If this is a financial sense, you have a, a fallback position. You do have something, you, someone you can rely on, a partner, your bosses, the bank. There is a way out. You do have support there. There is commitment there for you. There is gains to be had. Put all those denials. That, this could be uh, insecurities that, that are coming up. All right. Now, what is the outcome for this weekend reading? 
well, this is what's going to happen if you don't keep the uh, insecurities in check. Someone's boasting and they're losing out. Someone's uh, banking checks that they don't have, um, cashing checks that they don't have money in the bank. Someone's talking it up large and they've got no follow through. So if you are insecure uh, and you're doing a lot of talking, you're doing a lot of um, yap, yap, yapping and you're not following through, then that is what's going to be the outcome. You will, you will lose that partnership. So that is, is what's going to happen if you continue. So if you turn it up the other way, well, we've got the Knight of Cups who is um, chivalrous. He is an example. He is uh, moving forward fearlessly. He's completely calm. He's completely on top of his game. Uh, he's the last man standing at work. He is um, uh, calm. He's emotionally accepted his fate and he's emotionally on top of his game. This is Pisces Scorpio Cancer. So that is the outcome. You've got to stop the emotional insecurities, this uh, delusional thoughts. If you are in denial, if you are in delusions, cut those out and everything will go the way that you want them to. But if you choose to stay in the realms of um, feeling that way, uh, it could be someone from overseas that's causing you to feel this way. Maybe you've got family at home. Maybe you're in a different state or a different country and you're homesick i feel very strongly about home you're away from home and you're homesick or maybe in the other end of the scale uh your family in a different place are making you feel insecure all right i hope you've enjoyed that reading now i will pull out a couple of the angel message cards from doing angel messages from the angels from doing virtue three cards for you You've got to take action, you've got to trust your gut, you've got to keep going, don't let insecurities pull you down. This shark, this is the person that's um, pulling you down, that's making you uh, second guess yourself, doubt yourself, all of those things. This person doesn't have your best interests at heart, maybe they're the person that you need to cut out of your life. You're overwhelmed, time to meditate, stop thinking so hard, uh, cut those thoughts right out. This is like the four of swords, this is rest, recon. Uh, reconcile this is meditation this is hypnosis this is taking a break from thinking finding a solution by stop thinking about it so hard some of you will have migraines some of you will have headaches if you don't stop thinking and obsessing and fixating on certain issues Archangel Uriel is telling you that emotionally you are ready for this this is an emotional testing where you are doubting yourself, you are insecure. And Archangel Uriel is telling you that I'm here, I'm holding you in my warm embrace and I'm giving you my love. I will help you through this hard time. All you need to do is realise that that is the old you, you no longer feel that way about yourself. And if you can put it behind you and push through, you will succeed. So I hope you've enjoyed that reading and I shall see you next week.